Team removing trash from Mount Everest makes grisly discovery. What's this discovery? Thousands of people have tried to climb Mount Everest. Some successful, others have lost everything trying. But it's not the glory of summiting the tallest peak in the world that's motivating these climbers. It's about cleaning up the mountain. Hundreds <laughs> of adventurers a year. Once again, a cleanup team of soldiers, sherpas, and porters braved some of Everest's most inhospitable conditions to remove hazards that have collected along the route. One of the team leaders says it is dangerous but increasingly urgent work. Okay, guys, you're going for a trek up Mount Everest. Okay, it takes like however long to get to the summit. You're asked to collect trash, not just your own trash, but other trash while you're nimbly trying to maneuver yourself via guide because you can't even do it yourself you have to like literally start removing trash. I, this is crazy it's not even done there's more there's more. Uh, because of the effects of global warming the bodies and trash are becoming more visible as the snow cover thins the team recently battled Everest's frigid temperatures, whipping winds and altitudes with low oxygen levels to remove 11 tons of garbage from the mountain. And at times, uncovering much more difficult things. Viewers might find the next image disturbing. It took painstaking work, hours if not days, to dig out some of the bodies of dead climbers entombed in the ice. We have to bring them. That's insane. That's how many that's how many people have died climbing Mount Everest. And like that's your grave. That's right. That's your grave. When you die on Mount Everest, you are you're buried there. So your funeral and your and, and, and your your burial are the same same day. You know, you get a white casket, guys. That's insane to me. I mean, but also like, isn't burying people insane? Like Everyone should just be cremated. Them back so as much as possible. And if we keep morning, leaving them behind, our mountain will turn into a graveyard in the future. We have to bring them back. I think it's the weirdest thing, and just hear me out. I think it's the weirdest thing to take somebody, put them in a fucking casket that's like custom made with leather and vinyl and, and like hinges and screws and like ornate handiwork and like then put that in the ground so that it can never touch earth again it's locked like everything in nature tends toward chaos and entropy it's gonna break down and it goes back to the earth or the ocean like literally i don't understand why we're pro we're like protecting it wouldn't you rather like be in a tree wouldn't you rather just be planted at the base of a tree i would or just you know, scatter my ashes or whatever, but like, I think it's insane to have this many caskets. It's gonna cause some drama. Some of the traditions that we do are just weird, bro.